you know, the one thing that it's, it's very clear is that you guys do what you do because you have an amazing team. Um, now, a filmmaker like me, and I'm sure like everyone in the audience, is often either a one or two man woman or woman show. So you're kind of doing all of these jobs. So is there any, and which is important, I think. I think that's actually a great thing. I think when you have to be your own post supervisor and you have to edit the fucking movie and you have to deal with the goddamn lab and you have to do the fucking test screen and you have to <laughs> fucking argue in the studio and the marketing department just completely fuck. Like, it's that's great. great. That is the best. That's what makes or breaks you. And it sharpens your skills. And, and so you understand it fully. Is there any one piece of advice that you guys could give to the producers out there that don't that have to do it all themselves and have to deal with production, have to deal with post, have to deal with creative because they're dealing with maybe a seventy thousand dollar movie. Is there any one guiding principle or out of all of your experience that you think you could impart to the producers here? Or two things. Well for me it's all about treating people nice and having fun. It's it's Absolutely. literally the way that our crews come back and work with us over and over again and the way that the atmosphere is at the company and everybody that works there is let's have fun. Let's let's figure this out and let's have fun doing it and take care of people. So it's really it's really how you communicate and it's really how you um, say thank you and and how you request things and and the spirit that you bring into it with you. Absolutely. Say, say, I'm, uh, saying thank you is free. Cooper always reminds us saying thank you is free. <laughs> Jeanette, uh, so we're, we're, we, we try and be really careful about that. Jeanette also is uh, is the the kind of a key team kind of spirit leader inside the company. And one time, and the company's been growing a lot, so when it grows, it changes, and I, I get uh, distracted. And um, and one time about, uh, I, it was six, six or 12 months ago, she came in and she said, everyone at the company is really sad. Like, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. What happened to the old company? So we try and pay attention to that and try and try. We I think it's really important when, and I and I really do feel like we have a big advantage because we're, we're spending small sums of money. I really feel like it all, everyone says we do low budget because it's big profits and, and that's great and it is big profits and I'm not saying that isn't a terrific thing. But that's but we're certainly at a place in our lives where we could be doing expensive movies and we choose not to. And I really feel like because there's a real correlation between not spending a lot of money and having fun. And I really I don't know if I don't know if you you can Absolutely. you can totally say that's not true or not, also, but I really like, think that's like, true. Like when we first met and we were sitting on Oren's couch down in San Diego, we had a very succinct conversation about creative control and the fun of filmmaking. Yeah. And that's really the core of all of this is giving the creative control to the teams and supporting them. It's like it's like your child, you know, your your you know, part of my job is being air traffic control and being mom. Like, yes, you can have that. No, play nice. No, you know, whatever. That sort of thing. And and that's the spirit of what the company was built with is to allow people to have creative control and fun. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I right. often, it's, amen. We got everyone's, we got, I think it's important to always remember that we're in this great, Thank you, you know, see, just refilled my water glass. Of course, buddy. <laughs> see the service see. that we have? Service, <laughs> no, uh, sorry, sorry, and he's uh, real producer. Director, director, director driven, director driven. <laughs> um, um, but I think that, that it's really, I think that, and I'm the biggest, I'm guilty of this as much as anyone, but I think it's always really important to remember, like, we're telling stories, whether it's on TV or movies, like, how great is that? I think it's a really, it's a lucky thing to get to do. And it's really easy because the movie business, especially, you know, to talk to your question and remember when you're starting out, it's mostly about no, which can make you feel negative, And that's not, that's not conducive to making, making movies and making TV series. So it's, I think it's as, as kind of talking to people out there who are starting out, it's really important to take what you're doing seriously, but keep a sense of humor about it. You can't make fun of it because that's what you're doing. So it's a fine line. But I think it's important to uh, to uh, to keep it keep it fun at the Absolutely. same time as at the same time as you're you're following your convictions. No, I, I always say the, the best training I had as a director when I was the three years I was a day camp counselor for ten year old boys <laughs> at Meadowbrook Day Camp when I was like 16, 17, and eighteen, and it was like you have to get like thirty five screaming kids ready for swimming. It's like I know he took your chair, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna let you sit in my chair, but it's gotta be our secret because we're in the secret chair. Like I know he got two cookies. I'm gonna give you this special cookie, but just gotta be cool to the next 20 minutes. Like, it's literally that. It's like if you've been a babysitter or a parent, you'll be an amazing director and producer. And it's shocking how people have an idea of how Hollywood is supposed to behave 
and they get a camera and they get on the set and it's like all rules of decency and human behavior go out the window and they're like, my vision! And it's just like, go fuck yourself, asshole. Like, really, you'll get nowhere. Everyone will be like, fuck you, buddy. And the crew will work extra slow and do your shit out of focus and be like, fuck you, see it. Like, they'll go on something else. Like, you cannot do this alone. Like, if you want to work alone, be a painter or something. You want to scream, then you can scream all you want and be a tyrant. I'm telling you, saying please and thank you is goes a, a long way. So I, the, excellent advice, Jeanette. So let me say, 